Shinigami's on fight commentary grappling. Last time we looked at some Jackie Chan techniques. This time let's look at some Jackie Chan and Jet Li techniques. <laughs> The first one was from the movie The Foreigner. He takes a cloth and he somehow wraps the person's arm. So, captures the knife. So, can you pull the knife out? Nope. What? This is kind of cool, I didn't know. It was really sharp, but it might be, be Yeah, cut it through. But that was hooking on the hand guard there. Test it some more. Wow! This is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's just making it worse on me. And then while I'm trying to unwrap the knife, I'm getting a beating. This is why I like testing this stuff, because you can actually learn something. That's the part where the choreography comes in, right? Yeah. They already have the shirt and they've been practicing this whole thing. That's yeah. how he catches the knife on the wrist yeah. instead of the knife. Exactly. Too, you know, yeah. Bam. What Jackie Chan did, he, he wrapped it a few times. <laughs> he did it like this. With that Jackie Chan speed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think this is much harder. I mean, I might you're, be able to pull a little surface yeah. cuts, but that's not yeah. the same thing as what I'm trying yeah, to get. exactly. It's interesting that having Having that around is much better than this. This, you can very easily, like, look at that. But for some reason, when I have this around you somehow, if I can manage to get this around you. Because it's wrapped around. It's not like a thumb. There's actually leverage there to it. Oh. So, so I'm using oh, my There's whole nothing arms. I can pull it out. I see. Yeah, you're using your whole arms. There's nothing for me to go against. It's both ways are trapped. I mean, maybe if I do maybe that. Maybe if you do that. You're not going to sit there and wait for me to do yeah. that if you manage to pull this off. Especially if Jackie Chan wraps it multiple times yeah. here. The guy's moving his arms, and then he just gives this. He goes on top. So, yeah, he goes like this. Like that? Yeah. yeah so. Oh, yeah, you can really control me. Yeah, whew, yeah, definitely. Jackie Chan's onto something. The only thing I could think of, so do that again, if the guy were quick, so let's say I'm here. Yeah, right? I mean, I got a little nick. That's why I had to pull on, you yeah. got to pull on it immediately, which actually brings me to the point I was bringing up with a friend of mine. I always have to make sure they can't get that knife with the other hand. Yeah, you've committed both your arms to my one arm. So here then it's like, uh-oh. You notice when I did it and I was like, let me see something. And yeah. I, I got it and I was like, here. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to worry about the other hand. Maybe your leg, but I don't think you're going to be thinking about kicking me in the groin yeah. or anything with the heel there. So exactly. The focus is always going to be on the knife. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He put my wrist in a stress position too. Trippy. It's very trippy. I guess the lesson is leverage and control immediately. Don't linger in that position. Yeah. Right? Like the way I was doing it, I was kind of lingering with you just because I was so surprised that I could even catch you. Yeah, exactly. Knife. Yeah. So especially when it's like wrapped nice and tight too. It's it feels like this actually has more leverage going under. I think it's really about how tight you wrap it. You definitely have top control in your, this is a single bevel knife, so this ain't gonna do anything. Yeah, exactly. And so then you just gotta just worry about <laughs> Yeah. Next technique comes from a Jet Li movie, Fist of Legend. This is the last fight between Jet Li's character Chen Zhen and General Shigida, I think is his name, played by kickboxer Billy Chow. So in real life, Billy Chow can destroy Jet Li. Jet Li takes his belt, he smacks the thigh here, and somehow trips Shigida. Are you okay with me trying with this end? I really don't think, maybe if you go southpaw, let me see. I don't know how you can hook it. See what I mean? There's no leverage here. In the movie, I went like this and then he went I, I think it's just one of those movie magic things where they have it where it wraps around, it's like all set. What if I have my leg up, like I'm throwing a kick? Would you be able to off balance me? I mean, I don't know I if, don't, I, if I wrap yeah. it around, probably not. Yeah. See, it wraps around and unwraps right away, but if I can, if I can grab yeah, it. Yeah, then you can. And then I'm leaving my head open too. Yeah, it's definitely movie magic. There's definitely. no leverage. If I'm gonna take my belt off and loose, I'm just gonna choke you. Yeah, <laughs> the way Jet Li used it, he kind of used it almost like a nunchuck. And then, and then, so he was whipping. All right, definitely a whipping power to this, but use it as a grappling technique is probably not gonna work. Mm -hmm. This one comes from Jet Li's Cradle to the Grave. Of course, in real life, any of the MMA fighters in that scene would kill him. So in this one, he's trying to hit Tito Ortiz. He's not doing any damage. So Jet Li goes flying, and then he bounces off the cage. He comes back, he spins with a kick. He gets his leg caught. And this is the moment that I think it would be really good to get him to test. Tito Ortiz throws Jet Li like a rag doll in an arc fashion. Are you able to do that? No. No, no, no. He's a big guy. I'm not a big guy. That's why I wanted to test with Shinigami, because if there's anyone that can do it, he could probably do it. So even with this leverage here, he still couldn't. See, look at that. 
<laughs> I might be able to pick him up off the I ground. I think she can pick me up, definitely. I'm not going to pick him up and, and throw him like a rag doll. I guess that's debunked too. That's movie magic. For sure. There could be a potential if he did like a sacrifice throw type of judo. So if he went to the ground, he might be able to throw me over. Mm -hmm. But that's not the same, the arc type of throw that our man Tito Ortiz did. I don't even know if I want to sacrifice yeah. though. I could just sweep the other leg. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Or switch to a single high cross something. Let me see how it feels when I catch his leg. So here, let's see. I catch this like here. How would I even? Yeah. How would I even? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not really there. In the movie, it's like Tito Ortiz is so scary, so big. He did a Zangief, basically. Mm -hmm. This is Shinigami's first time on Fight Comic Day Grappling. Man, it's great to be here. How are you in your grappling journey right now? I'm a purple belt in Jiu Jitsu, so I'm working on trying to get that stripe. I've been working on my double legs and a lot of like escapes from side control and darts chokes and all that. Might see some interesting stuff in my next fight. My grappling game was definitely the, the star of that show. Ooh. Awesome, guys. Thank you, Shinigami. Hit the gym, hit the bag, hit subscribe. Okay, Billy Chan is obviously a right side dominant power based fighter. His tactic is I hit you and you hit me and let's see who hits harder. Very Muay Thai, by the way. Well, like Jet Li resembles more of a hit and not get hit kind of fighter. Lots of speed. Oh, there's a very nice catch knee there. Followed up with the same side roundhouse, which is missed. However, that's a very risky evasion maneuver by Jet Li. Because if Billy continued to knee on the same side, he would have dipped right into knee city. So never dip your head down on the TIE Fighter. I mean, you can, but you can't get away forever.